Josh with you here, Tactical Hive. Welcome back. Hey, today we're just gonna go over a couple things. Uh, we're gonna do a couple warm up drills with your rifle with CQB in mind. So today we're gonna to talk about- Hey Dutch, did you know today's video is brought to us by TACPAC? I didn't know that door. Well, let me tell you. TACPAC is a subscription-based company that sends out a box every month of items from the EDC survival and tactical realm. Is it cool? Let me tell you how cool it is. Mm. If you use promo code TACHIVE at checkout, the boys at TACPAC will throw in a USA made $75 AR part with your first box. Well, let's get to the video. That's cool. It is. All right, with the rifle properly zeroed, and that distance is going to be up to you. So that's 100 meters, that's 200 meters, that's 50 meters, that's 37 and a half meters or 36 and a half meters, or whatever distance you zero your rifle at, you have to know the holdover, right? So we have to know the relationship between this dot and that bore. Height over bore. So the first we're gonna do, we're gonna lock and load this thing, we're gonna get up to the uh, targets, and we're gonna show you how much height over bore difference there is at five meters, seven meters, and we'll go from there. Stand by. So we're gonna check our height over bore right now. The relationship to where I fire this rifle, the dot, where the, where the uh, round goes on target. So I know, me personally, to shoot that target in the face I'm gonna to have to hold my dot at the top of the head. It's about three or four inches. I'll show you. If that target had a face, two shots would be in the eye orbit. But my dot has to be above there to achieve that. Now, to do a quick experiment, I'm gonna shoot this rifle right at the A zone. I'm gonna show you exactly where my EOTech goes, the shots will be below it. Stand by. So you can clearly see, right? Everybody knows that my hold off is about three inches. It's about right. With close quarter battle in mind, you will be shooting and you will be moving. Shooting on the move. Shooting on the move doesn't take a whole lot of science. Some instructors will tell you you have to roll your feet or you can only shoot with your rifle is both feet at the same time on the ground. That's a myth. Do you think that you're gonna exit your vehicle and get into the house or go through the main portal and go down the hallway and you're gonna stop to shoot or you're gonna roll your feet? No, you're gonna be scared. Your cortisol is gonna dump. You're gonna be high heart rate elevation and you're not gonna do those things. You're gonna go back to what you know. All I would tell anyone is to just use your legs as shock absorbers, drop your center of gravity slightly, right? Have a great connection with your rifle and put the dot where you need it and squeeze the trigger. A lot of it comes exactly from here. Know where your trigger breaks, stay on that wall and get back to it. Stand by. The command will be shooter ready, stand by, move. Then the command will be up. I'll raise my rifle, put the dot where I need it to be. You'll see that I drop my center of gravity slightly and I have a great connection with my non-firing hand into my firing shoulder. Stand by. Shooter ready, move. Oh! I want you to know or give yourself permission to act normally. This is you acting normally when you exit your vehicle, when you get through the main portal of the house or wherever it might be that you're doing CQB. There's no need to change what you do with your feet. Another thing I like to start uh, with my students with CQB in mind is doubles, right? Now doubles is gonna run through some ammunition, but I'm just gonna give you a small example of how doubles can help you keep your dot where you need it to be on the target. We're gonna start at just five meters, but this can easily be done at five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and, and now on down the line. What I'd like to show you is that I will have a good connection with my shoulder. 
my pocket and I'll have a good connection with my non-firing hand. All right, so that a lot of things are going on here. You have the connection itself. You have to know your hold off, number two. Number three is trigger manipulation and recoil management. A whole lot of things going on there. And if we do it correctly, you can see what your splits are. So there'll be a pause, there'll be two shots, a pause, two shots, a pause, and so on. Stand by. Shooter ready. Stand by. Oh! That's your first round of doubles at five meters complete. Certainly while doing CQB, if you're even, even in a static position, you will turn to meet, address, and eliminate your threat. So we're gonna cover a couple of turns left and turn right, and we'll do a 180 as well. I'll show you what I do, and you can use it as a tool in your tool bag if you like. When I stand by to get ready to do a 180 or a 90 degree turn, I'm at a decent stance, right? My rifle has got a decent connection into my pocket and my shoulder, and I'm at the low ready. Now, when the command is given, stand by, I'm gonna walk onto my target. On up, I'm gonna rotate 90 degrees, raise my rifle, make sure I know what the threat is or not a threat. Target discrimination, of course, is important. Uh, and I'll raise the rifle, put the dot where I need to, and take two accurate shots into the A zone of this ipsic target. If you watch my feet, and I want you to, all I'm going to do is drill a hole into the ground with my left foot and rotate my body over into a, the same basic stance I had before and raise my rifle and shoot the target. Stand by. Shooter ready. Stand by. Oh! Now, you may see some instructors or some shooters shuffle their feet as they go from left to right. I don't do that. I want to be as quick as possible to get to the enemy threat. If you don't do it for yourself, do it for your mate, do it for your partner, do it for that guy that's with you on the CQB team, right? Because your rifle is his shield. I'll do a quick demonstration of 90 degree right, and then I will do a demonstration of 180 degree turn. Stand by. Shooter ready. Stand by, up. Same as the other side, now just using the opposite feet. Now we'll do a demonstration of the 180. A quick dry run will tell you that I wanna make sure either way it's way I turn, I'm still gonna use my turning foot as a drilling hole in the ground, like that. Even if I turn to the right, it'll be the same way. You got it? Of course you do. Shooter ready. Stand by. Oh! Please notice also that there are three sight pictures in this drill. Two shots, three sight pictures. First one, second one, and that's right, a follow through. So not only is it a follow through, but it's an additional shite picture that I'm still connected with my rifle, still in the pocket of my shoulder, and my finger is still on the trigger. I'm right at the wall, ready to engage the target again, if necessary. Once the engagement's over, you quickly see I come out of the target and the weapon on safe with my forefinger. Shoot ready. Stand by, up. Does that all make sense to you? Of course it does. Another super simple way to get ready for a close quarter battle and the act of it is just a diagonal shoot. We're just gonna do something really simple here. We're gonna start off at about five meters or end up at about three meters. And I want you to take at least three shots in between this position the starting position and this position, your ending position. Why would you say you'd want to shoot on angles? Well, is every structure a straight ahead move? No, there's quite often times where you will have to shoot on a, at an angle. As you saw before, we already covered moving straight to your target. Now we're going to shoot it from an angle. Stand by. Shoot it ready. Stand by, move. Shoot it ready. Stand by. Move! Shoot 
Just a simple drill to start getting you ready for those distances that can be known in close quarter battle. Close quarter battle, keep in mind, is an action. The distance is a completely separate thing. So when we start doing a whole nother series of talks about what is CQB distance, that'll be up to you and where you are. Think about this. If you're in a hotel and that hallway is 200 feet long, is it now CQB distance? Yes, it is. Certainly three meters when you walk through a door or any other portal and you find your enemy right in front of you, this is now also CQB distance. Does that make sense? Of course it does. You may ask yourself, how many rounds am I gonna fire in my close quarter battle engagement? The answer is, and should be, as many rounds as it takes to extinguish that enemy's life from hurting your, yourself, your mates, or anybody else. So, this next drill, created by Bill Wilson, is called the Bill Drill. This is six shots in succession with a seven sight picture, my idea, not his, in succession on this A-zone target. So what's going on in this? Good connection, know your hold offs, trigger manipulation, recoil management. Just like the doubles, but now we're gonna do six in succession, just six. Stand by. Shoot ready. Six shots, seven sight pictures, 1.66. How are you gonna get faster at that? Practice, 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 dry fire, dry fire, dry fire. Remember, good connection with your rifle into your shoulder pocket. Know where the wall is on that trigger when you're doing these trigger manipulation drills and know where that hold off is on your dot, no matter where you zero. All right, so what we went over today was putting tools in your tool bag, shooting on the move, knowing your hold off, doubles, shooting diagonally, and the build drill. You can use these, you know, with anything. And, and look, and listen, any drill that you come up with can work, right? It's where your imagination comes into play here. Any kind of drill can be beneficial to you, whether it's a modified X drill, the static X drill, uh, on steel or on paper, uh, there's a lot of drills out there you can do, right? So if you like what you saw, then what you need to do is subscribe, share it, ring that bell, baby, because you want to get fed by Tactical Hive. So until next time, Dutch, out of here. God bless.